you are one you cannot see yourself you cannot see your unicity not phenomenally you can somehow know it in the most intimate intuitive sense that you are all inclusive that all knowledge all knowingness must be arising out of and within your own self there is a knowingness which cannot be put down on paper it is a felt knowingness so if this is what you're speaking i accept your statement i can see what i am not hmm? i can see that the objects i really am not they are connected with me they appear in me they are maybe appear out of my own self but i cannot say i am held in them because i am here to observe them so what can i be uh, so this discovery not speculation has to happen what actually finally ultimately and ultimately doesn't mean in time eventually it means at the center at the core at the most intimate hmm? that within which even intimacy is known uh, can that be known and i say non non phenomenally there's a knowingness hmm? that i am that but be careful something is quick to say yes yes this is what i am and this evidence must be rejected and the one who is giving this evidence must be rejected and there must be the discernment to know this is false mm. it's the intellect that is saying this because when it is felt almost you're struck into silence therefore i say it is not merely a conceptual answer that is sought but perhaps a response that will take place and i've seen it i've seen the form when there's the absence of the presence of you as an object as a psychological entity when the seeing comes that is not there and this is this moment this is this moment and it is as though mind does not want this to happen mind means my collected self my accumulated impressions memory idea of who i am who the world told me i am who my parents told me i am yeah that doesn't want to find this out nobody wants you to be free nobody wants it to be free no one is invested in your freedom a rare being is interested in your freedom wants you to be free not even wants you knows you're free eh huh? the others most people don't want you to be free even family your parents they don't want you to be free what good are you if you're free eh huh? will you pay my rent no i don't want it nobody wants you to be free because when you're free no one can control you it's not that you're on control not you're a rebel not a rebel huh so this desire for freedom must arise from within your own being must be only one who knows the beauty of coming home to your own self will encourage you they know the signs when you are not available to them socially they will respect you and say okay yeah he's yeah he's going but there's no goodbyes Okay. Thank you so much.